Hello everyone, Mask Hatter here. Sorry about the bit of the hiatus. I want to show you guys a uh, progress video I've been working on. It's a uh, time lapse for a Adventure Time Lich inspired mask. This mask has been commissioned a couple of weeks back, but I want to show you all how I usually come to make these faces. Enjoy the video. For this project, I will be using a basic mask or a blank mask and cover that with aluminum foil. And when I have when I have the mold ready, I'll start sculpting with a plasticine clay. This clay I found works best for longer sculpts or when you have longer intervals between when you're sculpting one layer and then the next, and it won't dry out on you. For this mask, I will be sculpting the basic shape of a skull and then adding some horn bases at the top of the forehead. Right now I'm sculpting around the cheekbones, the top half of the mask, as well as the mandible for the moving jaw later on. And here I'm adding the bases for the horns, which I will apply later with hot glue and paper shade. It doesn't have to be perfect on your first, or on your first sculpt, but the best part about plasticine, again, is that you can take your time to work with it and it won't dry out on you. And in a moment here, I should be done with the sculpt. And you can just smooth it out as you're looking or going through the steps. And here we have the final look of the mask. And make sure that you're satisfied with your look that you've sculpted, because that is what your final mask will look like as well. Next, we'll be covering the mask with Vaseline or petroleum to keep the pier mache from sticking to the mold. For my glue recipe, I'll be using three quarter cups of water and one cup of glue. Once you have your glue shaken up and stirred, you'll, you can start applying your newspaper to the mold. In this case, I used five layers of newspaper. You can add more if you want, but um, five should do the trick. Any less, you may run the risk of it warping or re or kind of adjusting to the shape in which you lay the mask down on. And you may notice I'm kind of rushing through the paper mache like adding big layers onto the mask. I will only do this for the first four layers and then the last layer I will actually take more pieces and smooth out the paper mache with that. At this point, you can just uh, smooth out the folds and creases that occur with this, with the glue and by hand. You don't have to do it this way. This is just how I did the mask and it'll be covered by fabric and hot glue as well. So I'm not terribly concerned with the paper mache at that point, but now I'm starting to uh, put on the smaller pieces around the bends and curves, like the chin, the eye sockets, and the, uh, the horn bases. This process here took me about 20 minutes to complete. You can take your time with this one, since the paper won't immediately dry on you. But usually once you have your, uh, layers put down, it'll take between one to two days to dry, depending on where you have it drying at.
Once your mask is completely dry, you can finally remove your mold as well as the clay inside. Be gentle because the inside may be less dry than the out, so when you're removing your clay, if you see paper coming undone, stop, or try to pull from another spot. And here, I have it completely removed. At this point, I trimmed out the eye holes as well as the nose and around the mask. I'll also be trimming out the area for where I'll be placing the hinges for the jaw, but I won't cut out the jaw completely so that I know where it lines up and keep it to that same alignment. Do you need proof that artists are also magical? Presto! The mask has horns now. The aluminum was glued on with hot glue, and I can paper mache this into the mask further on. I've also added the hinges at this point, and I can make a video on how to do that as well. Here I've added the teeth and gums with a combination of hot glue and multiple plastic, before I mod podged on the fabric and painted over that. And there you have it. One paper mache, lich inspired mask. The mouth is completely movable, and the eyes you can see through. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the final product. If there's anything that you'd like to see me create next, please comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more of these creations, and have a wonderful day.